Oh, I had you recording upside down for a second. It's nets out here today. I'm currently outside of my house. I don't have a haircut. So you must excuse my appearance. But I have stumbled across some things. It's very important. And can be used with anyone. Right now, of course, it is 2011. And man is still confused about their origin and about where they may be going and why they are here. I did plenty of research <clears throat> on religion because man has used religion to explain their existence on this earth. But they have personified our creator, which is the exact opposite of what you should do. Just with one little small thing of comprehending and understanding God, you must first understand the universe. First start with our solar system, the planet that we live on. First of all, as you can see, to my right, there is a nuclear fused, very, very large, enormous ball of hydrogen burning at temperatures that we <laughs> we can't comprehend right now. It's, it's, it's very, very hot and bright, but it's hydrogen. How does it keep burning? Because it is fused. Why is it fused? Because of the immense gravity. And in space, in the universe, in the vacuum of space, gravity condenses things, brings them together. Everything is drawn to each other. And when these, when this reaction occurs and it is drawn to itself, you know, it, it, it collapses upon itself and you get fusion and then the star is born and it starts to burn. If I'm not mistaken, even Earth could have been a star. Um, Jupiter is actually a failed star. Jupiter actually possesses all the compounds and elements needed to produce a star. But Jupiter is short the density, short the weight to become a star, to fuse. But it's definitely very, very hot on Jupiter. And it's so hot, and the gravity is so intense, that the elements have, the elements have drawn together, and they have um, become metallic. That's pretty hard for anybody to understand. <clears throat> I'm not here, here, here to explain things. I'm only here to state things. Yeah, now looking at the last black that I would smoke for a while, probably. That's still up in the air. But I know that while living here on this earth, it's been very, very painful, and very, very confusing being here amongst humans and their human thinking. Even though I am somewhat human myself, I have tried my hardest to stray away from the human thoughts that we all have and the human understanding that we all have. 
of our universe. Here's a car. Hey, mom. To my right, once again, happens to be the mother. My mother, the woman that birthed me. We're in a car. But, like I said, I'm really, 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 really sad for and compassionate for the people that don't fully understand who God may be, even though none of us do fully understand, but they don't have the slightest clue. Religion is not the place to look to understand God. To understand God, you must first understand the universe. Until you get knowledge of the universe, you have no knowledge of God. And then, first and foremost, I'm sorry, but first and foremost, you must first realize that God does not think like humans. Therefore, we cannot personify him. God does not have rules. Humans have rules. God does not make decisions. Humans make decisions. Why do I say that? Because humans have the ability and are restricted through neurons and electrons. And these electrical impulses inside of your brain are the basis of your behavior. Hey, doing good. Just recording a blog on YouTube. I'm recording a blog on YouTube. Yeah. I won't. Mm -hmm. Right. I'll be fine. Well, like I was saying, um, human beings cannot <clears throat> understand God. And you're bound by your electrons. I mean, not electrons, but your neurons. And they tell you exactly what you're going to do, what you're going to think. So being bound by those things are, are causing us to be the way we are. So um, I guess that's all that's going to say for right now on this post. Alright.